वेलकम बैक आफ्टर द ब्रेक आप देख रहे हैं आज पाकिस्तान एंड नाउ वेलकम टू आर सेगमेंट मिलो पाकिस्तान से इस सेगमेंट में हम आपकी मुलाकात कराते हैं हाई अचीवर्स से ऐसे लोग जो यकीनन हमारी तमाम नौजवान नस्ल के लिए पाकिस्तानियों के लिए एक इंस्पिरेशन है एंड दे मेक अस रियली रियली प्राउड इनकी मुलाकात आप पहले भी मेरे प्रोग्राम में कर चुके हैं बट ही वॉज नॉट इन पाकिस्तान एट द मोमेंट सो टूडे वी ब्रिंग यू एन एक्सक्लूसिव कॉन्वर्जेशन विद नन अदर देन इनाम अहमद इनाम के बारे में हम जाते हैं ही इज अ ब्रिटिश पाकिस्तानी फॉर्मूला थ्री चैंपियन ड्राइवर चौदह साल की उम्र से मुख्तलिफ रिकॉर्ड्स बनाने शुरू किए बिकॉज ही बिकेम द वर्ल्ड एंड द यूरोपियन कार्टिंग चैंपियन एंड जब इन्होंने ये किया ही वॉज वन ईयर यंगर देन लुइस हैमिल्टन एंड हीड वन फाइव चैंपियनशिप द सेम ईयर इसके अलावा आपको बताते चले कि अब चले कि अभी अभी ये कंप्लीट करके आए हैं जी द टीम्स चैंपियनशिप इन यूएस एंड ही गॉट द थर्ड प्लेस इन द ड्राइवर्स कैटेगरी और सबसे मजेदार बात यह वी गिविंग हेम अ कंप्लीट पाकिस्तानी एक्सपीरियंस कल मैं इनकी स्टोरी जरा देख रही थी तो कार्टिंग के बाद और फॉर्मूला थ्री ड्राइविंग के बाद कल इन्होंने जी पाकिस्तान में रिक्शा भी चलाया है जरा इनसे पूछते हैं ये कैसा एक्सपीरियंस रहा इनके लिए अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग इनाम कैसे सलाम थैंक यू हैविंग मी सच सरप्राइज टू सी यू है ऑल ड्रेस्ड अप इन अ पाकिस्तानी अटायर मुझे ये बताइए इज दिस योर फर्स्ट विजिट इन द रिसेंट ईयर्स इन द रिसेंट ईयर्स यस बिकॉज आई बिफोर now i'm living in the us then i was living in japan for quite a while hmm. um so this is kind of like the first time i'm home in a while so in you know the last conversation we had was just around eid and mm -hmm. you had to be away from family Again. um are they visiting with you and uh, are you connecting with roots over here with family members how is it going yes i am and uh, i briefly actually got to see my family before i came here hmm. in london and uh, now it's just you know enjoying food relaxing the season's finished for me so i can eat what i want So when the season finishes off balki in fact just tarah aapne abhi mention kiya ke you're relaxing because the season's off usually routine kya hoti hai khaas taur pe aapki fitness a lot of people think that driving is more about your your own agility your reflexes lekin kya aapko bhi athletes ki tarah ek bahut strict fitness routine follow karni padti hai well um the thing is when you're racing the adrenaline is so high that our heart rate is on average between 190 to 200 beats per minute for 2 and a half hours So to be able to concentrate while your heart is that high you need to do a lot of cardiovascular and uh, the g forces we pull are between pull are between 4 5 sometimes 6 g which is the same as you get in a fighter jet mm -hmm. so it's the same kind of g forces that a fighter pilot would have so in order to get our bodies ready and our minds ready uh, we do a lot of cardiovascular a lot of mental training so how i like to train is i get my body and my mind as tired as possible after doing like a long run a uh, very intense for like 2 hours and then we do like mathematical circuits and things like that to make my brain work better under pressure mm. um and when it's tired because okay. on the steering wheel for example we have so many different switches we can change so many things in the car but when you have your engineer on the radio telling you you need to change this change the differential clutch map 2 fuel map 3 and you're doing that at over 200 miles an hour you have to be able to think it's very interesting that he brings that up because just yesterday mai ek article padhi thi jisme unhone kaha gaya ki britishers ne ek abhi study ki hai and they find out, they found out that 40% of their pilots are actually taking a nap during the flight aur jab wo uthte hain to wo dekhte hain ki unka co-pilot bhi sath mein so raha hota hai to aapko to bilkul break nahi milti aur aisa koi scene nahi hai mujhe bataye ki the kind of pressures you're talking about yes you're taking it because you're a young person but what is the lifeline like or the lifespan like for a racing uh, car driver um as long uh, until you die either one is there an upper limit i mean i'm thinking ke aapko jis tarah ki high pressure situation se guzarna padta hai to kai log ye samajhte honge ki iska ek span hai aap 5 saal tak racing kar sakte ho 10 saal tak kar sakte ho kabhi aisa socha hai ya iske bare mein kuch bataye i'd say that the the limit one is either if you get killed in an accident two i say drivers If you keep your body in good condition and your mind in good condition probably till 35 38 mm -hmm. um some drivers have gone into their 40s um but that just depends on how you look after yourself and your natural genetic ability to handle pressure mm -hmm. and that's one thing that luckily since I've been since I was a kid I was able to handle and which is why I've been able to win championships and world championships and things I like wonder that. because you've drawn so many parallels with jet fighter pilots and mm. we are known to have some of the you know the best jet of uh, jet fighter pilots yes. in Pakistan the best air force in the world so how come bahut kam youngsters aise hain jinka interest formula car racing mein hai I think the well racing got big after world war 2 because yes. After the war the young kids wanted to do something that was close to being a fighter pilot and the next best thing was racing 
because our cars are basically uh, fighter jets upside down. Because while a fighter jet has wings to make the plane have lift, our wings are to push the car into the ground to give us more grip, which is why we pull so many Gs. Um, and that adrenaline-filled sport is why people like it so much. And I think being Pakistani, we are some of the best pilots in the world. And I think any Pakistani, especially a piloting machinery, I think we are the best in the world, it honestly comes to speaking. Us naturally? Naturally, I okay. believe. I mean, at the moment, I'm the only Pakistani driver. I mean, I don't particularly know if I'm any good. There could be way better drivers in Pakistan than me. Um, so that'll be something I'd like to do in the future because uh, Force India had a, a Formula One team and they tried to get 10 drivers from India. And one thing I'd like to do when I'm older is uh, create a racing team and try and find the talent in Pakistan, bring them over, train them in Europe. Because if you want to be the best, you have to train in the UK and in Europe because the best drivers in the world tend to come from the training there. Which you know, is I think I you're up. already seeding that dream for so many people who are watching you right now. But tell me something, I want to go back to your earlier comment about, uh, you know, the safety. Uh, do you think the cars and the racing is becoming comparatively much safer now? I mean, are they, are they keeping that in mind? I'm sure there are more precautions being taken. The engineering of the car is changing to make it safer for the driver. In Europe, the cars are more safer. Formula One is much safer than it used to be. In America, with IndyCar and things like that, we go, we tend to be going at a higher speed than Formula One on average, um, and we still have concrete walls, which is a problem. Because mm -hmm. when you hit a concrete wall, usually the car disintegrates and yes. it really hurts. Yes. So that's in Europe, it's more energy-absorbing tire walls and things like that. America, we have a lot more respect between the drivers because we know that when we're racing each other, if we were to be too aggressive or not respect each other, it could be bad for both of us. Mm. When I was in Europe, it was a free-for-all because it was much safer. You, you knew you could have an accident and you should be okay most mm. of the time. Mm. Uh, it's different, but that's what makes it fun. Of course. So tell me something. When the pilots are training, they have simulations. Mm -hmm. They don't actually get into the, uh, you know, the actual aircraft, but they, they practice their skill and their ability. Is it the same for Formula cars Yes. As well? I mean, teams invest heavily into simulators. Um, to give you an idea, some of the simulators in Formula One and in IndyCar, they're upwards of 50, 60 to 70 million dollars wow. of investment wow. a year. And um, they're so important because we don't get to practice much on the track. We get 10 days in the whole year to practice as a driver to keep the cost down for the teams. Um, that's why they have to do that. And how different are they? How close to reality is now the simulation? Now they're quite close. The only okay. thing that they don't have is fear factor or the g-force. Okay. You, you, you can't really represent the g. Mm -hmm. um, but driving wise, the way it feels, like to give you an idea, the rooms that these simulators are in, no one can take pictures of them. And they're like the size of cricket stadiums, the wow. rooms, because the simulators move so much. And uh, it's like something out of like a, like a spaceship, honestly, it's incredible. What, what an experience to have. But tell me something, Anam, you're here in Pakistan, and I saw you sampling on a variety of Pakistani experiences, the rickshaw being oh, yeah. one. How was that for that you? That was fun. It's something I always wanted to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably the rickshaw driver is a better driver than me, honestly. <laughs> but I loved it. You know, I, when I come to countries, I always like to embrace myself in the real culture. Mm -hmm. um, when I lived in Japan, I embraced myself with you know my team, with the people there. I learned Japanese. I had to do everything. And here, you know, I want to experience a real Pakistan. And what's your Pakistan trip like? Are you going to be spending all your time in Karachi? Are you going to other cities? Is there a meet and greet happening? I'm, I'm sure a lot of your fans want to get in touch with you. <laughs> I mean, my, my family are from Karachi. Initially, I was going to stay just here, but I'm thinking to extend my trip to go to Lahore and Islamabad. Mm -hmm. But let's see. It depends. If the team gives me a call, I have to be able to fly back to America. Right, right. So depends. You know what we would love to, for you to do is because on the show we've covered so many of our engineering students mm -hmm. who actually come together and they make formula car um, you know designs and they've created it and they've competed around the world mm -hmm. and they've won big so I think it would be a great experience for you to connect with them and perhaps you know find how things are happening for them and it would be wonderful for them to actually meet a professional um, you know, racer. That would be good. And maybe I could drive one of their cars. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that should be a collaboration waiting to happen. And I would have such a pleasure to have you Thank here. Thank you for having me. Um, anything that you'd like to leave the young people with? And also, one, one last question I'd like to ask. What about the women? What about the girls? I'm sure lots of girls were interested, but somehow there seems to be a barrier. Is there a barrier? Not anymore, because now in racing they're pushing a lot uh, with female drivers. So in Formula One now, they've made a series called the W Series. It's mm -hmm. fully paid for, um, and it's a women series only. 
and they race alongside Formula One and it has massive backing, huge backing and it's great because we're seeing so many female drivers coming into the sport now which never used to really be like that. Because it's a very um, old school sport, you could say, mm -hmm. um, there was not much encouragement. But there were two female drivers I raced against that were seriously good. Wow. Seriously, seriously good. One was German, her name was Sophia. She now races in uh, Le Mans, which is like 24 hour racing. She's sponsored by Richard Miele, the watch manufacturer. She's very, very good. Um, and I think you're going to see in the next five to ten years. Well, I'm happy to share with you that the team that would, um, from the engineering teams that would participate, usually the gender balance used to be a 50-50. Mm -hmm. So we, we see a lot more girls interested in the, um, in the engineering of it. So I'm sure racing is not going to be far as well, especially for Pakistani girls. Once again, Anam, thank you. And it was a pleasure thank to speak you. to you. Wish you all the best, not just in Pakistan, for, but for the next season as well. Thank you. And with that, we're going to head towards a break. Aap ke comments or feedback ka rahega Yakinan, you were watching this very exclusive conversation with Inam Ahmed here on Aaj Pakistan. Isi ke saath hum lete break. We'll be right back.